Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you from wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Extensivo. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to send your Audacity audio to Vmix. I did a video earlier on, I think two videos ago or one video ago, how to send your Vmix audio to Audacity to record. So now around, I want to show you how to send your Audacity audio to Vmix. Yes, yeah, so Audacity audio to Vmix. So stay tuned, don't forget my name, Joseph Olasukomi, and this is Extensivo. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, you need to download this virtual audio cable uh, AB, not the A plus B. Virtual audio cable B. All right. Oh, uh, I'm not connected to the internet. Just give me a sec. Yes, I'm connected now. So the virtual audio cable AB, this it's over here. Just go into this website, then you can click on the virtual audio cable. This it's over here. Yes, virtual audio cable driver back. This VB cable driver, just click on it and it's downloading for your Windows. Once you download it, you go to where it's installed in, then you extract it over here. That's extract, and just go over here and extract to the folder. This is over here, yes. Once you start to it, you click on it and you install the setup that is for member as owner's administrator. So you run as administrator and you should see it as, yeah. I've already installed it already, so like I said, virtual audio cable is already installed, or else you should have, you have seen installed also. So that is how you install it. Okay, so once you have done that, just go to your that's it, this model, that's it over here, go to edit here, yes, and go to preferences, go to preferences, that is called control P also. So in your preferences, go to recordings, this recordings over here, and click on audible input monitoring. So we want to be like monitoring our audio, so as it's recording, are gonna be also hearing it out there so Adobe input monitoring so click it and press ok once that is done go to your audio setup over here and click the device playback we want to be changing our device playback so from the speakers or from wherever it is click the VB audio virtual cable it is actually cable not C like it's because it's long and you cannot show everything so um cable input vb audio virtual cable or visual virtual c if you want to put it that way then your recording software for recording device click it to your recording i'm using this mic right now this mic is showing the video so i'm going to just use this which is the pmp uh, PMPs it's kind of complicated so just use this um recording device to whatever it is if it's from your mixer we can click in your um sound card or whatever it is so i'm saying this then the moment you do that press r for recording i just press this for recording then you see the more i talk the more it's recording over here right then you can see the um the readings and everything so if we actually set the audio cable to the speakers as we're talking now we're going to be hearing in the speakers but because we set it to the virtual audio cables um the virtual audio cable vb so i'm going to be using the virtual audio cable vb so in your vmix go to your add input then i'm going to set yes we're going to add add audio input so the audio input i'm going to um set up the trial audio virtual cable this is a cable output vb audio virtual cable select it and press ok so if i have to press ok then i'm going to be in which is going to be clashing so i do this so you can't actually hear uh, so some be clashing with my speakers because you know I'm talking actually also. So you see the moment I talk, the moment it's you know pops out. So the more I talk, the more it pops out, the more I talk, the more it pops out. That is this audio cable over here. So that is how you bring your audio cable from you know, this is the output now. This is the output, right? This is the output. It's coming in as an output. Why here is coming in as like an input. So coming in as an input here from this to this, and the output we set it to that, which is that. So if I should pause this right now, I'm not recording anything, right? If I pause it, so that it's actually cut here. But the moment I start recording again, it starts recording over here. You can see it here. Then I pause it again, it stops. Record it records. That is it. So I'm using my Audacity audio for my vmix audio and that is how you do it so if you have any questions please do as this to comment it or message me on my um youtube channel some um questions actually and some helps i'm gonna i'm gonna help you with actually i'll track some fee but i'm pretty sure you can you can, if you can say that right so just um message me online if you have any question you can comment it right here i'm gonna help you as best as i can 
like this video to increase the visibility to help others also and subscribe to this YouTube channel to join this amazing family i know i cannot talk much i cannot talk fast so in case you can't hear me well you can please um go to your settings in your youtube channel just up there and re um, the settings of this video actually then reduce the playback speed to like 0 0.5 so you can actually hear it slower and clearer you know I'm saying. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. My name again, Joseph Blasco, and this is Extensible.